The Rise and Fall of the Odd People The Story of Prophet Hud and the Consequences of Arrogance in Islam The story of the Odd People and their Prophet Hud is one of the most significant narratives in Islamic history. It offers a glimpse into the power, arrogance, and eventual downfall of an ancient tribe that, despite its strength and material success, lost its way due to disobedience to God. The lessons drawn from the odd are timeless, serving as a reminder of the dangers of hubris and a lack of gratitude to the Creator. In this video we will explore in depth who the odd people were, their achievements, arrogance, the role of Prophet Hood, the warnings he gave, the nature of their punishment, and the absence of their mention in other religious texts. The Odd were an ancient Arab tribe, whose story is mentioned prominently in the Quran and also features in Islamic traditions. According to these accounts, the Odd lived in the region of Al-Aqaf, which is believed to have been located between Yemen and Oman, a place of sprawling deserts and mountainous landscapes. Archaeological evidence suggests that the tribe lived around the southern part of the Arabian Peninsula, although the exact location and existence of their civilization remain shrouded in mystery. The odd people were renowned for their physical might, wealth, and technological accomplishments. They are often described in Islamic sources as having been giant-like, with impressive physical stature that gave them a sense of superiority over other tribes. One of the hallmarks of the Odd's achievements was their mastery in architecture. They were known to have built tall and monumental structures, displaying their prowess in engineering and construction. These structures, according to Islamic tradition, were not merely functional, but were meant to showcase their dominance and power. Their society flourished in trade, agriculture, and the arts, making them one of the most prosperous tribes of their time. They saw themselves as unrivaled in strength and this gave them a sense of invincibility. Despite their material success, the odd gradually became corrupted by arrogance and pride. They began to see their achievements as a result of their own efforts, neglecting the fact that all blessings come from God. This sense of self-sufficiency and superiority led them away from worshipping God and into the worship of idols. They believed that their strength and wealth made them untouchable, and this delusion set the stage for their downfall. It was during this period of moral and spiritual decline that God sent Prophet Hud to the Odd. Hud, an Arab prophet, is regarded in Islamic tradition as one of the prophets sent to warn a specific nation or tribe. Like other prophets, Hud's mission was to guide his people back to the worship of the one true God, reminding them that their strength and achievements were gifts from their Creator, not the result of their own doing. His message was simple, but profound. To forsake their idolatry, return to monotheism, and live righteously according to God's commandments. Hud warned the odd of the consequences of their arrogance and disbelief. He reminded them that the blessings they enjoyed, their wealth, physical prowess, and fertile lands, were all favors from God. Hud asked them to show gratitude by worshipping God alone, without associating partners with Him, as they had begun to worship idols made by their own hands. He further emphasized that if they continued on their path of rebellion, they would face a severe punishment from God. The odd, however, ridiculed Hud, accusing him of madness and dismissing his warnings as the ravings of a deluded man. They argued that they were too powerful to be destroyed and that their forefathers had lived similarly without facing any divine wrath. In their eyes, Hud's message was not only a threat to their way of life, but an affront to their sense of superiority. Hud continued to preach to the odd, appealing to their reason and reminding them of the destruction of previous nations who had similarly disobeyed God. He pointed out that their wealth and power would be of no use if God's punishment befell them. But the odd were blind to his message. They had become too entrenched in their arrogance and worldly success to heed Hud's warnings. Instead of repenting, they became even more defiant, challenging Hud to bring the punishment if his words were true. After years of rejection and defiance, God's patience with the odd ran out. 
The Quran describes how the punishment began with a severe drought that lasted for years, drying up their once fertile lands. This drought was a precursor to the final punishment, giving the odd one last chance to repent. However, instead of turning to God, they continued in their disbelief. The drought was soon followed by a mighty windstorm, which lasted for seven nights and eight days. This wind was so powerful that it lifted the odd people into the air and dashed them against the ground, destroying them completely. Their grand structures, which they had taken so much pride in, were reduced to rubble, and their civilization was wiped out without a trace. The destruction of the odd is depicted in the Quran as a direct consequence of their rejection of Hud's message and their arrogance before God. The punishment serves as a stark reminder of the limits of human power and the ultimate authority of God over all things. No matter how advanced a society becomes, its survival depends on its moral and spiritual integrity, and once a nation turns away from these principles, its downfall becomes inevitable. The story of Ad and Hud is mentioned multiple times in the Quran, particularly in Surah Al-Araf, Surah Hud, and Surah Al-Hakka. The message conveyed through their story is not just a historical account but a universal lesson for all nations and generations. It warns against pride, disbelief, and turning away from divine guidance. It emphasizes that human achievements, no matter how impressive, are insignificant in the face of God's power, and that gratitude and humility are essential to sustaining the blessings that God bestows upon people. The story of the Ad and Hud also highlights the role of prophets in Islamic theology. Prophets are seen as chosen individuals sent by God to guide humanity, reminding them of their obligations to their Creator and warning them of the consequences of disobedience. Each prophet, including Hud, had the task of confronting the moral and spiritual decay of their respective societies, urging them to reform. Hud's persistence in preaching to the odd, despite their mockery and rejection, reflects the patience and compassion that prophets are expected to embody. One of the intriguing aspects of the story of the odd is the absence of their mention in other religious traditions, particularly in the Judeo-Christian scriptures. While some parallels can be drawn between the story of Ad and other ancient Near Eastern civilizations that were destroyed, such as the people of Sodom and Gomorrah, there is no direct reference to the Ad in the Bible or other pre-Islamic texts. This absence could be due to several factors. First, the Quran itself states that many ancient civilizations and their stories have been forgotten by history, and only a few have been preserved in human memory. The Ad may have been one such civilization that over time faded into obscurity, leaving little to no trace in the historical records of other cultures. Secondly, the Quran often introduces stories of prophets and nations that were unknown to the Arabs prior to the advent of Islam, serving as a reminder of the universality of God's message and the continuity of prophetic guidance throughout human history. The absence of Ad in other religious texts could also be related to the geographical and cultural isolation of the Arabian Peninsula from the broader ancient Near Eastern world. While the Bible and other religious texts focused on the events in the regions of Mesopotamia, Egypt, and the Levant, the Arabian tribes like the Ad may have existed in relative isolation, leading to their exclusion from those narratives. However, for Muslims, the Quranic account of the Ad is considered divine revelation and serves a theological purpose, independent of its presence in other traditions. The story of Ad and their prophet Hud stands as a profound reflection on the human condition. It teaches that no matter how powerful or advanced a civilization may become, its fate ultimately depends on its adherence to divine guidance and its recognition of God's authority. The Ad were a people who had everything strength, wealth, and achievement, yet they lost it all because of their refusal to acknowledge the source of their blessings. They serve as a timeless reminder of the dangers of arrogance and the importance of humility, obedience, and gratitude to God. Their story, preserved in the Quran, continues to resonate with believers, offering both a warning 
and a lesson for all of humanity.